Oh, actually, one more thing I wanted to do before I leave here is... Um, let's go ahead and put a sorter here. Because this is my uranium refiner. Okay, and then eight. I need a junction here. Like that. Hmm. Yeah, I saw the additional um, refineries thing, but I don't know. I didn't really want to do it because once I found out that there are sorters in the game, I figured you could do it yourself, and that's probably the bad way to do, but, you know... Um, we'll turn here, and then... Mm, no, we'll, we won't turn there. Well, we'll turn, but not that way. Uh, eight... Let's do that. And then we'll do that. And I forgot to disable Telegram, so all my friends are texting me. And you can hear it. And I need small steel tubes. Um, you know, I think the easiest thing to do is just come over here and do it. And I think I have some, yeah, in the assembler. Got a nickel again. And the interior plates. Oh. I mean, I'm just making more work for myself, so don't respect that part of it, but... I don't know. And now I need construction components, son of a bitch. I also need to tear down this ship, this rescue ship at some point. Which I might, um, I might switch over my mining ship to be a grinder or build another grinding ship sometime. Or I might just do it by hand because I don't really expect me to, uh, need to do it a lot. Okay, now, well, actually, I just thought of something. This conveyor is only one way, correct? Well, I'll still put it to only allow uranium ingots out. Just in case. Is there a control panel for it anywhere? There it is. So this needs to be in whitelist mode. And uranium ingot. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Tyler? How you doing tonight? Okay, so then that should allow uranium to come out of it. And to test that, I'm going to come over here and... Um... Yeah, there's my uranium refinery. Yep. Yeah, that looks like it works. Sweet. How much power do I got now? I'm only using 4% of my power so far, so that's good. What's up, Wizlaws? How you doing tonight? <laughs> Notification squad represent, right? Isn't that something that people say? I don't know. Like I said, I'm still new to this whole live streaming stuff. I don't understand it most of the time. Okay, there's nickel. Let's go ahead and undock. Where was that? Right below us. Sweet. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta remember this thing. It, uh... It gyros, that's for sure. Ooh, 
Well, no, if you're going to go to, if you were going to bed, you should probably go to bed, man. Just saying, like, don't be like me and get that, uh, that insomnia. <sighs> that shit's bad for you. Uh, you didn't really miss much. I just, um, added some conveyor sorters and I put in another stone crusher and some speed mods. That was about it. Haven't really been... Haven't really done much. I've only been okay. Well, I've been streaming for 25 minutes, but I ain't really got much done in those 25 minutes, so I wouldn't worry too much if you missed it. Um, okay, let's just go ahead and coast. And once I hit about two kilometers, I think I'll uh, go ahead and turn everything uh, or the dampeners back on. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about pulling all nighter tonight too. I've got a, um, I don't have to be going early in the morning, but I got some stuff going on tomorrow that I'm gonna have to get up for. So, I might just pull an all nighter. It's it's about time. My sleep schedule is all messed up anyway, so. Yeah, I think once I get this nickel, this thing's going to come back in the shop for more thrusters. <laughs> it's slow. Actually, me being in the gravity field, it's not good. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I do that about uh, once a month, although there was a time there where for like three weeks, I just, or for like a whole week, I just couldn't sleep. And that was, I mean, I'd sleep a little bit here and there, but not like a full night's sleep and not at the right time, which that was my problem today. I took a nap, so. I was fudd fuddy you know, like I'm the, you know. I control my body, but like I can't tell it to go to sleep. You know, like it, ha like I have to. Whenever I, whenever I do sleep, I have to lay there for about an hour, watch something, and then um, actually go to sleep. Usually, play some Sudoku or something like that, just to I don't know, get me in the right mindset for sleep because I'm so. I know I seem. Well, I hope I seem kind of chill on stream and in video, but actually I'm a. Uh, a real fucking fast moving kind of guy. Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. <laughs> v. V? That's, oh, I gotta put an, a different command here on this thing. I want that like half one. But, um, yeah, which, again, I know I talked about this before. I don't know what day that was, but, um, I gotta. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna be able to slow down. I gotta hype up, um, the anime I've been watching to go to sleep, which isn't the first time I've seen it, but man, planets or planetes or whatever you want to call it. It's the, uh, okay. That might've been a mistake. No, we're good. It's, uh, the anime about the guy, the people living in space who are debris haulers to, uh, clear out the, um, the orbits around the earth because they're afraid of Kessler syndrome. That's the one I couldn't think about. Um, guys, it's so good. Yeah, no, it's good. Um, that's why I've been watching to go to sleep. And it's just amazingly good. It's kind of hard sci-fi. The first couple episodes, though, I gotta say, um, they're not super great. And I hate to be that way, because, you know, everyone who talks about shitty shows or anime or whatever are always like, oh, the first couple episodes are bad once you get into it. But, no, for real, though, once you get into this, it's really good. And... It's not just the main plot. There's so many plot lines going on. There is a love story, but I think they handled it really well. I don't usually like love stories and stuff because they, you know, will they, won't they kind of high school bullshit. But this one's really well developed, I think. And um, there's so many plot lines going on. Like there's a terrorism plot line, um, corporate politics plot line like it's good the only thing about it though is if you don't know much about japanese business culture it's going to seem really weird because i didn't know a lot about it before 
and uh, because of that I actually looked up like Japanese business culture and shit like that and um, it's pretty interesting to look up actually but but yeah Plaid it's, it's good it was apparently a manga too but I've never read that but the, the anime is just wonderful so good and uh, the intro is really cool too like just look up the intro on YouTube um, it does a good job of showing giving you a taste an idea for the characters and it also um, in the very short intro it goes through the history of rocketry like it starts off with um, like the myths and legends of antiquity around um, you know space and the stars and stuff and then it goes through and it shows um, you know like Goddard um, test firing his rockets and then you see like the V2 and then on up and it's all animated and they do a really good job they do a um, a um, oh they've they animate that famous um, video of I believe it's a Saturn V and it's staging and so you see the old stage fall away and then you see the engine light and the fairing come away from the I'm assuming second or third stage probably second stage maybe engines and they animate it really well so yeah if you like space definitely give that a um, a watch I've never watched is it Chobits I've never watched that I've and I don't really know what's about either I've heard of it but mm. I don't actually watch a whole lot of anime. I mean, I don't have anything against it, but yeah, I just don't watch a lot of it. Um, is that? I can't tell. That I think that's where my yeah, that's where the station is. So we're gonna come up like this. <clears throat> yeah, I do love the that footage of the of the Saturn V um, staging. It's so good. Which actually I'm hoping, uh, yep. Yep. Well, I've seen it so much, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm getting kind of old or long in the tooth there and, uh, that's been around forever, but, uh, actually I'm hoping um, here in a couple years to um, see a Saturn V. Um, here in a couple years, I think I'm gonna. It's gonna sound weird, but I think I'm gonna go to Disney World for their. I think it's their 50th anniversary, and that happens in 2021, I think. And um, I think I'm gonna go just because I went to Disney World. My parents took me when I was like three, and I barely remember it. And, um, I, I don't know, it, it interests me. I want to go and see it. And the 50th anniversary seems like a good time to go. And I priced it out, and it looks like I can get a week there for, um, about three grand. Air, and that includes airfare, hotel, and even uh, two meals a day, which is all I would eat anyways. So, um, I think I'm going to do that. Um, you know, if I save up my money and stuff. Um, so, and while I'm there though, I think I'm going to rent a car and go to the Kennedy Space Center because I've never been there and that seems really cool. I thought about going to, um, to Huntsville too and, um, no, I've never been to the Kennedy Space Center, so I don't know what it's about, but I thought about going to Huntsville actually because, um, I don't think that's too far, like it'd be closer than going to Florida. So, and I've heard good things about it, but now I have been a long time ago. I was maybe 10 or maybe 11 even. I have been, no, I, I was older than that. I might've been 13, but I have been to the, um, oh, what is it? The National Air and Space Museum in DC. And that was cool, but like. Back then, I was kind of in my, you know, gen, I call my Gen Xer stage, where I was like, mm, you know, mm, whatever kind of thing. So I never did it. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. So it looks like uh, Kennedy Space Center and Huntsville. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna look into Huntsville because that should be cheaper. Um, and I'd like to see it. If I do, um, I might make some video of it if you guys would be interested in seeing it and my experience down there. But see, guys, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be recommending this stuff to me, you know, because that's going to cut down on, uh, you know, I won't be able to stream when I'm away, so you won't be able to see any of this uh, excellent content that I provide to y'all. So, see, y'all are doing it wrong. If you uh, if you want more more of my videos and my streams, y'all to be telling me not to go to these places. Nice, nice. I appreciate the like, but uh, no, I'm joking though. I, I do want to go and plus I don't I don't I've never really gone on vacations so you know I'm 30 years old I think it's time to go on vacations and such oh man this game is beautiful like watch this my shitty rescue ship is going to eclipse the sun oh look at that that's so cool the game is beautiful but um yeah so that's uh it's kind of my goals right now so yeah okay if you guys say the Huntsville is awesome I'm gonna check that out uh, is there anything else there like is it just space related or is there <clears throat> other stuff to do <laughs> awesome awesome I appreciate the likes guys yeah um so okay I'm gonna start talking kind of bragging on myself and stuff because I was talking to my friends tonight because we streamed a little bit of seven days to die earlier um, finale of that server um, and uh, you know um, Tony Sloan has his own channel of course and uh, so does my good friend Azide he did a live stream earlier where he was designing a um, it was a 3d printed mount for his blue snowball that's also an isolation mount and I'm going to see if I can um, get the files for that to either have him print it off or I can print it off myself, one of the two. But the um, point is, we because um, Sloan's talking, he's like, yeah, like, man, my channel's kind of moving. You know, it's, it's not, you know, it's kind of moving kind of slow. And I said, well, you know, you don't have enough, um, you don't really have enough uh, videos up yet. And plus, man, like, Live streaming is a really good way to get subs and likes and comments and all that stuff, so. But, sadly, his uh, computer, or not his computer, but his internet is not good for live streaming, so. That kind of sucks. Okay, yeah, we're going to tear this down and put a, a different one on it. But, um, yeah. So. Um... Eh, don't worry. Um, I think next week uh, those videos are going to go live if you're interested in that. Uh, basically, we just blew up our old base and then just fucked around. Like, we didn't really do much. Um, well, yeah, I mean, nothing's going to beat the Space Center, you know. But um, I just didn't know if there was... And honestly, I don't really know what else I would want. You know, like, I'm not, I don't know, I'm kind of an indoors guy, so. But if I went, I would want something else, probably, maybe, I don't know. Like, could I spend, because if I'm going to go, you know, that's a pretty big trip, I'd probably stay a couple days. Like, is it worth a couple day trip, or is it just worth, like, a day trip? Also, I'm going to need lots of these. Six should do it. <laughs> well, I don't know. At the end, we got really bored, so we just kind of stopped. But um, it's a good send off for that server. We're going to have another one up. I'm going to try to get the guys to do uh, some PvP stuff too before we start like another survival series. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> 